Hello world, PDR coming at you here with a, I think it's a 2016 Mustang. 06 Mustang, special car, a really nice car for a really nice person. And what we've got here is a dent that goes diagonally through the front line, body line crease. You know it's been a while since we've made a video. Thank you guys for all sticking around with us through these tough times. And it looks like there's a little brown. I'm just getting it warm. And I'm also seeing a tiny, if you guys see, I'm also in, an, in the analysis of this dent. Let me turn my hat around for you. There's a tiny little fisheye right here, and there's a tiny little fisheye back here. So that makes me think that this panel is not factory. It's probably uh, been repainted once in its life. Doesn't mean it's a bad job. They did a good job. It's obviously a super nice paint job. Um, but what we're going to do is get this dent out without any kind of cracking. So we're going to get this thing nice and warm. And I think before I even start, I've got my access right here. I didn't want to take out the whole headlight and everything because I can literally almost reach this dent. It's three inches away. I use the uh, towel as a little bit of a brace there. But before I do anything, I, I want to take down right, I'll show you guys through the camera, right here, this outer edge brow. I'm going to use the jackhammer with a soft squishy tip. We're going to widen this dent open a little bit. And at this point in the videos when I say, hey, I sure do appreciate you guys clicking on this video. I really do. Um, I know it's been a while, but we're back. And uh, if you guys don't mind hitting that subscribe, it'll get us up to 15K. This is where we've been uh, stagnant at 14,400 for a couple of months now. But it's probably because I haven't made a new video. So thank you all for clicking on this one. I got that brow down a little bit. I want to get a little warmer. I'd say, I don't have my little uh, temperature gauge out right now, but I'd say it's 60, 60 degrees to the touch. And I want to get it easily up to 80 or 90. This uh, propane heat gun is real uh, forgiving. It takes a long time for it to heat up. I'm not going to say it's wimpy, but it's not like a normal heat gun that will just if I did it this close for this long, it would have a chance to burn the paint. This won't. Just gets it nice and warm, slowly. It's up there though, getting a little bit of heat. Feeling a little bit of warmth now. I just want to get it warm through the center of that dent because I'm going to take my Damp Craft double bend tool and see if I can even get up there. I haven't checked real access, but I'm pretty sure I've got some access to it. Let's see where my tip is. Yep, I'm right about here, and I'm just gonna uh, walk this body line down really carefully because I don't want to push hard off the light, and I don't want to push hard into that body line right in the center. I just want to really slowly take this dent out. So we're coming up slowly. Let me go out to the outside edge of it out here. And I'm going to kind of sew up this little line. Give it a little bit more angle on the tool. So I have a little bit more to push on. And this big soft tip is great, but it's not what we need. I think what we need is a little bit more dialed in, sharper of a tip. And I'm going to go with this one. Uh, tip number E2-P from Dentcraft. Not a sponsored video, but um, I think what I might need is a different tool. Oh no, this is kind of working. Let's just get right in here and rock this edge all the way down. I'll work the top side first just because I know I can get to it. And then I might even even flip the tool around to come and get that bottom outside edge. Here's the tough part right here, guys. Right on the body line, just gonna lift it up real slow. We're taking our time. These are patience pushes, and I wanna keep it nice and warm. The temperature uh, 
I won't say it's everything, because I've done these dents in, in cold and had them come out well, but the temperature helps. And anytime you can get an advantage to move that metal, you definitely want to take advantage of it. Let me get a little finer angle. What's that? Yeah, it's like that. So now that lets us dig right into the center of this dent. Can you see it better? Yeah. Okay. And I think before I make any more pushes, I'm going to re-tap down that edge. So this is kind of the, what I call the back and forth of dents. Now that I have this other angle here, I'm gonna come in tight with it. Find out where these lines pinch, which tends to be right about here. And these are super light taps, guys. Just finding the edge of, the, of this dent. And it looks like I'm, well, making it bigger. And I kinda am. But I'd rather have it be nice and soft before I recreate that line than try to push right in the center of that dent and have that line pinch or fold in a different way that I don't want. So let's get the rest of this little bit out. Some pretty hefty taps here, but that's because I have such a good angle. And it brings this dent back into a diagonal little crease here. And I'm going to see if I can actually just get in here with Louie and get to the back side of this dent. Yes, this is Louie. All my tools have names. And Louie doesn't have enough bend or enough fulcrum. So... We go with the one that obviously has a ton of fulcrum and a ton of bend, but I think that two inch tip there is a little too long. I'll try to come around the outside and show you. I'm down here and I'm just going to rock it up a little, like rocking the tool back and forth when I'm twisting, slight pinch. Uh, that does it look like that's working? Yeah. Let me get a little bit deeper in there. Nope. Uh, I think what I want to do is heat it up. Now that we've almost got the rest of this dent the way, I mean, I know I can work the top edge because I know I have the uh, access, but I think what I'm going to do is get it nice and warm, which I'll just keep you guys in for this. We're on the fly. We're out here in nature, enjoying this beautiful day. It's probably only about 65 degrees out. It's not super warm. Sorry about that sound. But now I'm just going to grab number one and just do the dent like I know how to do. Just get in there and find it. Where is number one at? Uh, yeah, the tool that I know the best. Let's find it. There it is. I'm right down here and I'm just going to walk number one up into that area with real delicate pushes. It's not something I want to push hard on at all with the fulcrum I'm using, which is basically a piece of plastic. So I can only put like two, three pounds of pressure onto it. Now I'm going to come up to the top edge and try to work that body line out. And just really slowly walk it all the way up un, un, into that line. I don't start at the body line. And honestly, guys, for my first 10 years or so, I would always start at, like, really the hardest part first. Which, in my later years, I've learned you want to make the dent as small as possible as slow as possible if that makes any sense well a little bit of scrapage there a little bit of a movement not getting the right angle um, 
Maybe I'll take Mark. Yes, named this tool Mark. Because one of my customers named Mark. I said, name it after me. So I did. Here we go. Uh, even that one's not giving me the right angle. So I think what I need, guys, is I'm going to get a different tool. And I'll come back to you guys in just a bit. Okay, guys, I just went and got a couple other tools. I went and got orange. It's got a 45 degree bend. And uh very old PDQ tool that I have. And I'm just kind of, uh, I'm going to make sure I have lots of uh, backing there. But yeah, this tool, I'm basically going to just do this and work the top of this den out really slow. Um, and I probably won't keep you guys in for this because this is going to be where we say, uh, the majority of the dent gets done. Um, this slow process. I might bring you guys in for a little bit of the finish work, but we're doing it right now. And I'm showing you what we're doing, but the only reason why I'm not going to keep you in for the whole thing is because I'm going to do this and this. I know I could just put my strong arm XL up and, and get it nice and warm and keep it nice and warm. Uh, but with only one little tiny dent that I've got to get out, I'm just going to warm it up like this. And now I'm going to come through and still needs a little bit of this. It's a lot of this uh, patience back and forth stuff, guys. And I know that's the reason why we make the videos is to show you the reels and show you everything. So we'll keep you in for as much as we have uh, patience and battery for. Just breaking down some of this edge of this dent so that I can come in here now and just work it real nice and slow. Find my spot, I'm out here on the outer edge and just walking the tool around. Very slow process, but this is where the, uh, the fun part is get the rest of this den out without any paint damage. And we're almost there guys. We're getting right up into the center of this. I'm still taking it real slow because I don't want to show any pushes. And I can tell this paint is testy. But you know, once again, get it nice and warm and go back and forth with it. So, I think at this point is when we're going to say I'm going to come back and show you guys the final result in about 20 minutes when I'm probably done, done with this dent because I want to really take the time to make this one right. Um, so once again, thank you all for clicking on this video. See you guys in a couple of seconds. And we're back. Okay guys, let's see what we ended up with. Let me show you. I did a lot of pushing, a lot of tapping, and I'd say only about 15 minutes worth. But if we want to look at it, let's flip this board around. Look at it right through here. It was right about there. I'd say it came out pretty darn nice. That uh, 95 to 98% mark may, might be about 2% left there, but um, it's almost impossible to even see anymore, so I can't really... Yeah, there's nothing to find. Uh, the customer's already seen it and is super happy. So, um, on that note, I'm gonna try to get another little one out of the back, see if I can access it. But if not, what we'll do is just call this one a vid for today. And I sure do appreciate you guys clicking on this video once again. Uh, sorry it's been so long since we've been uh, in the mix, but we're back now, making dents come out nice. And uh, thanks to everybody that stuck around with us through this tough time. This has been PDR and I'm out. Peace.